Hello Tenos, today's video is suggested by Ender Look. Along with his message and a link to a forum post on the Warframe Reddit, basically there was this weird interaction on how efficiency worked on some of the abilities. This forum post was made two years ago and I guess my job here is to find out if what the forum says still applies and explain clearly how does the drain actually is calculated. The forum was shared to me more than once by different people asking me to explain it better and finally here it is, hope it helps. According to Wiki, Valkyr's Hysteria consumes 2.5 energy per second at 0% while active. The cost will increase by an additional 2.5 until it caps out at 15 energy per second at 100%. And the ability will grow from 0% to 100% in the course of 40 seconds. What I could understand from this is that it increases by 2.5 energy at a time until 15 energy per second. Since it starts at 2.5 energy, the energy between 15 and 2.5 is 12.5. If it increases by 2.5 NG at a time, it can only increase 5 times before hitting the 15 NG per second mark. And you get this by taking 12.5 divided by 2.5. Since 5 increment is required to apply in 40 seconds, this means that it increases the drain by 2.5 NG per second every 8 seconds. So this is how it will look like if you were to tabulate the cost of the drain for every second. But after laying out the values, you can see that it's not true because the actual testing that I did used about 378 energy to reach 100% in 40 seconds without mods. But with the growth like this stated in Wiki, it will only get up to 340 at the 40 second mark, which does not match. So how does it actually increase? I start thinking about how I would code something like this if I was a game developer or something and how it would make the most sense to players playing. I feel like either an aromatic progression or a geometric progression should make sense to the description and so I started with that. Now I can't go into detail what aromatic or geometric progressions are which you probably learned in high school but in short aromatic progression increases linearly for example from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, then 3 to 4 and so on. As for geometric progression, it has a more exponential growth like from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8 and then 8 to 16 and so on. Lucky for us, we already have most of the variables, we just need to calculate the results to see if they come close to the actual. We have AN, which is the value at the end term, that is 15. We have A1, which is the first term, that is 2.5. And we have the number of term, which is 40, since it grows for 40 seconds. From this, we learned that the growth per second is about 0.32 energy and by the 40th term, it would have consumed a total of 350 energy and by adding a 25 energy for the skill casting cost, we will get about 375 energy, which is very close to the actual recorded energy of 378. Now instead of showing you guys the total energy spent, uh, I actually showed you guys the remaining energy after 40 seconds. So all you really have to do is just take the maximum energy that you have minus that remaining energy which is about 75 or 72 and you will get your 375 or 378. When it comes to using the geometric progression equation, with the given variables, we only ended up using 281 energy by the end of the 40 seconds. This is excluding the cost of casting that ability. And it is clear that it does not even come close to the actual, which means that geometric progression is no longer an option. I then come back to aromatic progression to check the values from the results based on the calculations and the actual for every 10 seconds and it matched up pretty well. But to be sure, I also listed down all the energy remaining after every seconds and see if the growth looks linear at all. And the answer is yes. With that, I could confidently say that DE is using aromatic progression in Hysteria's drain increment. But the next question is probably going to be how it would perform with efficiency mods and duration mods. To test this, I did another three similar data collection for one with 30% efficiency mod, another with just 30% duration mods, and finally with both 30% efficiency and 30% duration mods. 
Based on the results, I can clearly see that the mods only takes effects on the AN and A1, which are the initial and final drain. So if you were to apply these changes after the efficiency or duration mods are used on AN and A1 and then use the arithmetic progression equation, you will get all the values similar to the actual. Now how efficiency mods and duration mods affects AN and A1 which are energy drains is as according to wiki by this formula. I've also checked the actual subsequent rate of energy drain after the growth ends to see if it remains constant and yes it does. Now for the next Warframe in question which is Ember whose war on fire has a similar mechanic growth. According to Wiki it says that it has 6 second constant drain of 3 energy per second at first and then starts to overheat for 9.5 seconds in which it will start to increase in drain energy up to 6 energy per second at 100%. Sadly there were no mentions of how it gets from 3 to 6. I'm happy to tell you guys that after the test it shows once again that aromatic progression was used for this part of the drain increase from 3 to 6. The main difference is that War on Fire has that 6 second initial constant drain before the growth starts to drain in uh, for 9.5 seconds. So if you calculate the values separately, you will get your results once again similar to the actual values. I've also tested it with the interaction between efficiency mods and duration mods, which reacts the same as well, so nothing much to talk about here. The more difficult part to check is when it comes to Ivara's Navigator which according to wiki states that the projectile will drain 3 energy per second and increases by 2 energy per second for every second once actively controlled. The problem here is that this ability does not have an end term like the others. The value varies depend on the drain efficiency and maximum amount of energy you have, on which also means we do not have an AN2. If you look to wiki, there is a small formula there that shows you how to calculate the energy drain, but I'll get back to this in a minute. For now, we need to find a way to check with the aromatic progression formula, otherwise we do not have a calculated value to compare with the actual, and we wouldn't be able to tell if aromatic progression works here as well or not. Thank the gods for algebra and simultaneous equations. We could actually solve this issue since we have two equations and only two unknowns. By substituting the equation 1 into equation 2, we have successfully eliminated one unknown, but it turns out that after solving, it leads us to a quadratic equation. This means that the value of n, which we are trying to find in this case, has more than one answer. By solving that quadratic equation, we know that n is either a negative 1 plus the square root of 501 or negative 1 minus the square root of 501, which are 21.383 and negative 23.383. Since n is a term that represents time in seconds for this scenario, therefore it cannot be a negative value. So the answer must be 21.383. Now you can find AN which is the drain at a specific time and if you look closely enough, it looks very similar to the one given by Wiki. However, they do not have a negative 1 in their equation which in my opinion should follow as per formula. You can only get drain after time has passed, but by using their formula, it's like saying you're burning fuel before starting the engine. But with that said, it does help to give us a good estimate. Now with the value of n, we could find s which is the total energy use. And by checking the time taken for Ira to completely exhaust her energy, we can find out if aromatic progression works here or not. From the test and calculation, it did. Because they both show that it could last for about 21 seconds without mods. I believe that it matches even though there might be some noticeable error, which is most likely from the fact that my actual counter does not have a millisecond on it. And the starting point of when the skill is being cast might be flawed slightly, which contribute to a difference due to the inaccuracy of measurement. Because the growth here can be really big, just a half a second difference can mean going out by tens of energy. Sadly, because of the quadratic equation, I don't really know how to reverse formulate the codes such that you can find the end terms just by inputting the maximum amount of energy and the drain efficiency that you have. 
So you kind of have to play hot and cold with the end term and see when it reaches the maximum energy that you have. And that is how long you could sustain your projectile. But at the same time, I do not think it is practical to be spending all your energy in one shot. So probably not very useful to know, but now you do. For the last part of the suggestion, I guess you want to know what is the best way to mod for drain efficiency, which is capped and does not go below 25%. In my opinion, if all other factors are not important, the very best way to mod for drain efficiency is with max streamline and a max fleeting expertise. Because this is probably the only way you can hit the efficiency cap easily by only sacrificing two Warframe mod slots. Of course, this means that you'll be losing out in power duration, which might be good for something else. So another method is if range is not a factor, you could go with Streamline, Prime, Continuity, and Narrow-Minded to give you about 27.5%, which is very close to the cap. There are of course other ways, but it all depends on what you want. Another thing I'd like to add before I end this video is that Efficiency Mod has more influence to the drain than Duration Mods due to how the formula is structured. And don't forget that Efficiency also reduces the cost of the casting, which saves you energy as well. Okay, so that is it for this topic. Let me know your thoughts and how you would go about modding your Valkyrie, Ember, and Ivara down in the comment section below. Now let's talk about Glyph Away. Seems like two milestones has passed while I was making this video. That means that there will be a lot of Glyph Aways happening and make sure you check your name with those that have entered down at the description. For hitting 5k subs on this channel, I would like to reward everyone with 50 Glyph Codes to whoever that joins my Discord and type Glyph Away followed by your platform in a contest channel under the general tab. The first trained people that does that after this video is released will get a Glyph code as soon as I see it. And the next 30 people will have to wait for another announcement for you guys to join sometime within this week. Those that already have the Glyph, please do not enter so that those that do not have it has a higher chance of winning. And do note that I only have Glyph codes for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. I'm not too sure if there's one for the Nintendo yet. That's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.